In today's tutorial, we are going to talk about creating an invoice. So to create an invoice in Iris, you will go to Invoices and select New Invoice. Once you've selected a new invoice, you will select your client. You, will, you can select an invoice template, or you don't have to. The issue date will automatically default to today, and then you can select your due date. There's also a field here that you can write information in for your client to see. Once you are done with that, you can go ahead and hit Create Invoice. Once you've created that invoice, you can see the invoice has the client's name, the status, the amount remaining, the issue date, and the due date. As you can see, there are no products in here, so we're going to go ahead and add some. You'll click Add, select your item, you can change the quantity and the price, and then you can click the check button. I'm going to add another product on here. Let's say they're going to get some pictures, and I am going to give them 10. Then I'll simply click the checkbox once again. You can see the subtotal has come up, the tax is here, the total, and the amount paid in their balance. I can now add a discount if I would like. I can do a percentage or a dollar amount. When I've added that, you click the checkbox. If I need my discount applied pre-tax, I can hit the arrow button and it'll change where my discount goes. When I am done, I can hit send invoice and it'll send directly to my client. Now, if you need to edit this information at the top at any time, you can click the pencil icon, change the information here, and you can do update invoice when you're done. If you would like to delete the invoice, you can click the trash can button. Some other things you can do while in this screen is to click the three little dots. You can add a payment schedule with and add your type of payment plan when the first due date is and the frequency. You can also do take payment now. This will open up the invoice URL and this is what it would look like to your client. You can also record a payment. So let's say they're paying cash today. I'm going to go ahead and hit add and I'm going to say they are paying a thousand dollars in cash. Payment day is today and I am going to record it as cash and I can choose to send them a receipt by clicking the check box or I do not have to and when I'm done I will click the check mark. Now you can see that the invoice has been deducted a thousand dollars and now the remaining balance is due. You can also preview this as a PDF or change your invoice settings.